We've all been there. We don't know what the hell to make. And then we look in the pantry and we're lost. Well, I'm gonna tell you about five staples I like to keep in my pantry at all times to make easy weeknight dinners. I'm Julie Bauer-Roth, the food, fitness, and lifestyle blogger behind PaleoMG. Welcome to my YouTube and pantry. I'm here to share my favorite food, workout, and wellness tips to help you live your best damn life. Welcome to my pantry. A little baby saying hello. Today, I wanna show you five staples that I keep in my pantry at all times for easy weeknight meals. We all need that. We've all been there where we're like, what am I gonna make? I just, I hate cooking. So we always turn to our staples, right? We all have our normal routine. So I'm gonna hopefully share a couple of my own routines that I always stick with to make easy weeknight meals. And so you can have a couple more ideas and keep these things in your pantry at all times. As you can tell, my pantry is not super organized. It's it's kind of organized. I had an organizing company come in and organize everything, but you know, as soon as they leave, it's just a free for all. Shit is going everywhere. But that's not the point. That's not why we're here. We're not here to talk about my clutter. We're here to talk about food I like to keep on hand at all times. I always buy these things when I'm at the grocery store. And when I say when I'm at the grocery store, I mean when I get my food delivered by a delivery service because I don't wanna go to the grocery store and we're about to have a baby. I wanna go to the grocery store even less. Maybe that's not true. I hear people just like really enjoy going to the grocery store and like Target once you have a baby. I don't know anything. What am I trying to say? But I do know rice. Something I keep on hand at all times is rice. So really easy weeknight meals. I turn to bagged rice. And of course we're all out because we're about to leave town, but I keep it. They're like the bags like this. They just are little bags of rice that you can heat in the bag in the microwave. It kind of creeps me out heating stuff up in plastic. So I usually cook it on the stove top, but do you, I don't give a shit. So I like to keep that bagged rice. There's all kinds of different bagged rice out there that you can just microwave in minutes. That'll range from jasmine to basmati to sticky rice, all kinds of different rice. Then I also like to keep different bags of rice on hand to make instant pot rice. So you'll see brands like this. This is one of my favorite brands is Lotus Foods. They have a ton of different rice options out there. I got jasmine rice. I have basmati rice. I got all kinds of different rice in here. I have farro. Don't use that quite as often, but delicious in salads in the summer. So with rice, you can do so much. I mean, you can make fried rice, you can do taco bowls. It's the easiest type of starch to just keep on hand. I love rice. I think it is such a good option out there. If you digest rice well, I love it. My favorite rice is basmati rice, but you know, try all the different rices out there. There's forbidden rice. Oh my gosh, it's so forbidden. There's all kinds of different kinds. Find your favorite, stick with it, or use your Instant Pot to make the best rice ever. If you have a rice cooker, even better, but Instant Pot makes such good rice. I will link how to do that on my blog. Number two on my list is beans, legumes. You gotta love them. Get that fiber in. You gotta get that fiber in, and everybody likes their fiber in different ways. So I always keep canned beans on hand. So I got some canned beans here. I got some black beans on hand. I put beans even in my smoothies. So I take these canned beans, they have no salt in them, no added weird ingredients or oils. Then I just rinse them and then I'll just add them into smoothies for extra fiber. It's such a great option. But if you want some packed full of flavor beans, love these two brands. I have, this is first Philos. So they have a ton of different beans. This is my favorite. This is the Cuban black beans. Love this. Check out, they got some garbanzo beans in there. I have lentils. And I even have some Puerto Rican pink beans, okay? They're all so good. And what I love about this brand is that they use olive oil. They don't use canola oil or soybean or safflower or sunflower. I just like that oil option a little bit better than the others. It's up to you. There's other brands out there. Another great one is A Dozen Cousins. 
I like keeping beans on hand because it's gonna give me added fiber and it's gonna be, give me added protein. And these beans are already cooked. I don't have to cook them myself. So it just cuts down on time and it cuts down on a thought process of what spices to add in. I don't have to do that. I just peel off the top and <clears throat> into my meal. It's delicious. You can make those taco bowls. Obviously I like to make taco bowls a little too much, but I just add those beans into anything I'm cooking and it just adds so much flavor. Add it with a little shredded pork from a crock pot. Oh my God, you're good, you're golden. Number three on the list. Okay, you always gotta keep some pasta on hand. Pasta and any sort of noodle. So not only can you make a quick pasta in minutes, obviously you can add any kind of protein to it if you want, but with the noodles, you can make hot noodle dishes or you can make cold noodle dishes. And since summer is upon us right now, depending on when you're watching this, adding cold noodles to a salad with different lettuce and different vegetables just gives it a little oomph, you know? And it just mixes things up from your normal salad. I like to keep some gluten-free noodles on hand. I like to keep lentil noodles on hand just because it gives me added fiber and protein. So one of the noodles I have right now is just a 100% organic gluten-free noodle. I wanna make a macaroni salad for summer. You know those like macaroni salads you get at the grocery store? That sounds so good to me right now. So this is one of the boxes that I just got. I'm gonna use this soon. Oh my God, shut up. Macaroni salad with chopped veggies. It like just knows me so well. So I always keep different pastas on hand. There are so many great brands out there. Check out different gluten-free one if you want that. But they also have different rice pastas, lentil pastas. There are so many great options. If you like chickpeas, chickpeas don't always work for me. You know what I'm saying? It's not always like a great situation. But another great option are rice noodles. I love keeping rice noodles on hand. And a brand I already talked about, called Lotus Foods. They have amazing noodles. So here's some udon rice noodles. We have pad thai rice noodles. There's soba rice noodles. There's so many different options. They even have the most delicious rice ramen noodles. I love this brand. Their noodles are incredible and make for the best noodle dishes. I have the most delicious, easy Asian stir fry noodle dish that I'll link below. And I'm gonna link a ton of different recipes with these ingredients and so you know how to use them and you can turn to a quick recipe whenever you need it. Whether you're making a hot noodle dish or a cold noodle dish, all you have to do is heat up some water on your stovetop and cook these noodles and they cook up in minutes. It's gonna take about eight minutes or so to cook up a bag of these noodles and then you'll have a ton. And then you can also use them as leftovers in different meals and repurpose them in different ways. Same thing with rice and same thing with noodles or pasta. And number four, I know I'm giving you like the craziest things you never thought about having on hand. Just kidding, you probably have these things on hand. That's why I'm sharing them so you can hopefully use some of my recipes to repurpose some delicious delicious meals. So number four, we need sauces. Okay. Sauce is life. If you don't like sauces, what are you doing? What are you doing with your life? Get out of here. Sauces are everything. As you can see, I have lots of salsas here, but some of the sauces I like to keep on hand. First up, you got to keep a pasta sauce. I don't have my favorite, but oh my gosh, the Reos, Rouse, however you say it. Fantastic. Here is a pizza sauce, so you can make a pizza dish. Another one I love to make is any sort of Indian dish. And I want Indian dishes to be pretty quick and easy. And Indian dishes actually are pretty easy, but they take a little bit to cook down. So it's nice to have easy things on hand. And this Maya Kamal, this tikka masala, but there's a ton of other sauces that this company has, is so freaking good. It all already has all the things that you would need on hand, like garlic and ginger and coconut milk. No, you don't have to get all those things out of your pantry. It already has it all in one place. And so you can quickly make any sort of protein or use some of your beans, hello, and then add this sauce, your rice, you're golden. The more flavors you can pack into a meal, the more delicious it's going to be. So I have things like this Mediterranean za'atar, and I have some lemongrass turmeric paste. Come here, baby. And this Italian bomba sauce. This is a bit too spicy for me, and I like spicy, but this will just 
light a fire right underneath your butthole. Add this to pasta sauce, that helps it out a bit. But the more sauces you can keep on hand, gravy, mushroom gravy, the easier it is to make meals. So then you can just pull out a sauce. Okay, what's gonna sound good? Well, I got a mushroom gravy, so I'm gonna make a comforting dish. Cook up some potatoes, some steak. You can add some gravy to that steak. Oh my gosh, stop, that's so easy and so good. Sauces will make your life easier, and I'll link some of my favorite brands who have cleaner ingredients, and so you don't have to look through all the ingredients, and you can feel better about what you're putting in your body, and you don't have to do it all yourself. <sighs> Freedom. And number five, five on the list is broth and soups. Okay, maybe if you're watching this in summer, it's not gonna like call your name, but broth is so freaking good. We want bone broth. Now I gotta dig underneath here, underneath my sardines, anchovies, and oysters, which are great to keep in your pantry as well. I like to keep kettle and fire bone broth. I love this brand because it is shelf stable. So not only do they have bone broth, they have chicken bone broth, they have beef bone broth, but they also have soups. And I'm gonna be birthing this little babe in the middle of summer, and guess what I'll be eating almost every day? Soups and stews, because they are loaded with collagen and glycine to help you repair from the inside out. So that means I'll be drinking plenty of bone broth and soups to go along with it, and this is a great option. Because soups like this one, spicy cauliflower, they have a butter chicken, they have a simple turmeric and ginger bone broth, it's gonna add so much flavor. So you can make all kinds of different soups and stews and really nourish your body without much work and added flavor into it. Something I hate to do, I hate it, is making my own bone broth. I just don't wanna do it and it's so easy and cheap, but they just do such a good job of locking in different flavors that I just wouldn't really think about and spend the time thinking about. It is so helpful. The more you can have some of these healthier soups in your pantry as well as bone broths, the easier it is to make some sort of meal, whether you're adding that to a soup or a stew, or you're just eating it by itself. Now I know these aren't life-changing recommendations by any means, but these staples will make a huge difference when it comes to easy weeknight meals, and I wanna make that easier for you. So I'm gonna link all of my favorite recipes from my blog that use these top five staples, and so you can turn to easy recipes when you're in a pinch, and hopefully it just gets you cooking more, and so then you don't even have to turn to a recipe all the time, because who has time to go to recipes constantly? But if you're learning to cook, if you're just getting your hands dirty a little bit, it's always helpful to follow a recipe. So I will link my favorites below to make it a little bit easier for you to get healthy weeknight meals on your table in minutes, and then it will become second nature the more and more that you cook. I'm gonna have more pantry favorites in the future, like some of my favorite brands, but you'll have to stay tuned for that. If you found this video helpful, insightful, maybe you found out about a new brand or two, don't forget to like and don't forget to subscribe because I wanna chill with you more, okay? I wanna hang. She wants to hang with you as well, okay? I hope you enjoyed this video and I think you're gonna like a couple more videos I have to share, so stay tuned for that. I'm Julie Bauer Roth of PaleoMG. Thank you so much for joining me.